Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profitex Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning coding editor framework beginner tutorial and this is our part 15. Inside this video session guys, we are going to discuss about query builder joins and also guys, if you are a beginner to the channel then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about coding editor framework tutorial. So far guys, we have completed several topics in our Code Igniter Framework tutorial. Now inside this video, we are going to discuss about the joins. So as I think guys that you have heard or used MySQL joins various in various applications. Something called left join, right join, inner join, full join and many more. So we are going to use the same concept inside this Code Igniter video series and we are going to implement those concepts to make our queries. So if I back to database table, go to database structure. Now inside this structure we have two tables like TVL users and TVL messages. Inside TVL underscore users we have some data like ID, name, email, phone number and the salary. So basically inside this ID section we have 789 this is user ID and this is user name so basically if I open a new tab go here and now if I open TVL underscore messages now inside this table we can find that this table contains a user ID column this user ID basically comes from this table now what is the scenario? Scenario is that this is our users table and this is our messages table. It means that when user sends any message then our entry goes inside this table. So if I back to TBL users, so let's say that we are going to actually fetch all the data, all the messages of this user1. It means that this user has id equal to 7. It means that all the entries of 7 inside this table. So I think that actually it is not 1, it is 7 because it is first user ID, it's also 7 and all the rest two IDs something called 8 and the 9. So accordingly here we have to pass our IDs. So this was the mistake. So we want to fetch all the messages of user 1 according to joining these two tables means we have 7 ID and after getting this ID we have to pick all the data from this table. So here is the concept of join we are going to use inside this video. So back to editor. Now inside this editor firstly go to controller and let's say that we are going to make a method for that so public function and let's say that get messages and inside this method we are going to call a model function something called we have called action model and inside this action model we are going to make a method let's say get user messages so if I store all the data inside this variable called data and let's say that okay I think there is a spelling mistake so this is public function get messages and if I write echo PRE tag and finally let's say print R and the data. Now we have to make this method inside our model. So just copy the method name, go here, scroll down and let's say that public function get user messages. So inside this method we are going to join two tables. It means that join TVL users from this TVL users we are going to take the ID and after taking ID we are going to match with the TVL messages table. So from this TVL users we are going to take the ID ID and then we are going to match with that ID with the column called user ID something inside TVL messages table. This is overall concept. So let's say that this db select all it means that we are going to take all the data either it is the data of tvl users or tvl messages we are going to fetch all the data semicolon and let's say this db from and the first table that we are going to join is something called tvl underscore users and here we have some errors and this is the dollar symbol so select all 
TBL users. Now we are going to put our join condition. So let's say this db and we have a method in our code igniter to join our tables something the method called join inside this join method we have to pass some parameters the first parameter is the table name it means that tbl users is going to attach with the tbl messages table so if i copy this table name back here and pasting it here and let's say that this is an alias so let's say tbl users as user it means that we will make all the call inside this query by ligating this user dot all. It means that from the users table, we are going to take all the data. And also, let's say that as message. Simply, we can understand that these are the nicknames of these tables. Now, in the second parameter, we have to pass the condition. On which condition? On the behalf of what condition? Actually, we are going to attach these two tables. So basically, from this user table we have ID and from this TBL messages it means that nickname is message from this message table we have something called user ID so on the behalf of these two IDs it means if you back to table this is user ID and inside this table we have ID column so that's why we have made that condition so finally writing the join queries let's get the query first so this DB and the git method basically it will generate behind the scene the query of that let's store inside this query save this file and let's say that finally result equal to this db sorry it's not this db this query and finally let's say result so finally we have to return that so return result so if I save this file before saving this file what actually query has generated behind the scene so it has generated something called select asterisk means all select all from table called tbl underscore users as user and it has joined the table called join something the table called tbl messages as message on on the behalf of which condition so this was the condition that we have done so copy this condition and pasting it here so behind the scene guys this is the query basically the coordinator generates so if I save this file go to our routes and if I copy this route pasting it here so inside action controller let's say that we are going to call a message route also let's say messages inside this messages it will call the method something called get underscore messages to so copy that and pasting it here so finally if I copy this route go to our browser and let's open up that so index.php and finally if I pasting it here press enter so array has empty so let's check that why it is empty so if I save this file and I didn't do anything in this routes action and the model all is everything set so back to again here reload this page and now all we have the data what we actually get from our TBL users table now as we can see that user1 user1 it means that we have two entries in our TBL messages table that's why we are getting this record two times if I back to editor let's say that also we want to get this is only getting about the users detail so if I let's say the message dot message this is the table name means table nickname and the, this is the column name if I back to table this is our column name so we want to get all the details of user as well as the message of the message table so if I save this file back to editor reload this page now as we can see that all the entries are here something this the user detail this is the first user message this is another first user message again it's called here inside this we have user 3 and this is third user message so successfully guys actually we can get all the details of the messages and the users by joining so simply we can understand that if you back to editor copy this line back to our slides open a new tab so here we have to pass the table name okay just leave it for now 
this is only the table name now after table name we have to pass our condition means the condition of joining two tables at what basic condition at what condition actually these two tables are going to be joined so as we know that the users table the users table have the id column and by getting that those ids column we have some messages of that users so on the behalf of that we have compared so if i back to editor now these queries basically turns all the columns which basically enters inside these two tables it means that if i again insert a row inside this table and let's say user 4 this is let's say user 4 so com and finally let's say user 4 entries and this is something mobile number and this is his salary so if i press go browse this now as we have fourth number records but now as we can understand that this user has no messages inside this table okay so if i go here reload this page we actually find that no entries actually we are getting of the user 4 why because this user has no entry inside this table that's why we are not getting that value inside this result set but we want to get all the data of those users actually resides in this table and also all the messages from this table if this user has no messages inside this table then also we want to take those values inside this result set so how can we achieve that so to achieve that we have third parameter inside this join method and we have to pass it here basically we want to tag we want to fetch all the data from this tbl users table it means that we have assigned two table name something called tbl users and tbl messages so this is our left table this is our right table means this is primary and this is secondary so we want to take all the data from the users table but if those users have their messages inside messages table then we want to also fetch that so here we have to put go called the left it means that we want to take all the data from our left table it means that from our primary table so back to editor go here if I put left here save this and behind the scene it will generate the query call something select all from TBL users this time we have to change something so this is user all and finally messages dot messages so from TBL users as user and this is known as left join TBL messages so if I save all these files back to browser reload this page now we can find that a new array is now added inside this objects array something called id4 but remember this user has no messages inside this table called tbl messages so that's why it contains the empty value in the same scenario if i go here and let's say that one more entry i'm going to enter inside this tbl messages and let's say that user id equal to 100 and this is 100th user messages if i press go successfully it has inserted a row inside this table but remember we have no messages of this user id 100 or user id details inside this table user 100 does not exist so it means that if we want to get all the messages from this table and also all the details from this users table so how can we achieve that so back to editor now here we have to put instead of this left if i copy and paste this line again and let's say that instead of this left we are going to take all the messages from the table and also the users detail associated with those IDs so let's say right this time behind the same it will create something called left instead of this left it will generate something called right it means that it will take all the data from this table and also if these users exist inside this table then it also fetch all the details from this table so if I go here reload this page now as we can see that 100th user record is coming but remember all these records are all these values are empty because we have no entry inside this table and also we are not getting this user fourth record inside this result set 
why because this time we have joined as a right join a right join in the sense it means that it will give all the data what actually we have inside this table so inside this table we have no entry of the user fourth id if i change let's say that this is user 10 so if i change it from 7 to 10 reload this so as we go up this is 7th 8 9 and this is the 10th number record so we are getting all the details if i back to editor now here instead of this right we have also one more condition to put that so back here and if i put let's say inner join so it will create the query something like that it will give all the data which have entries inside this table and also which have details inside these tables means all these ids means user id and the id should be matched it means that we have no entry of this 100 number record inside this table so we will not get that if suppose we have some entries inside this table and we have no record of that user inside this table then we will not get that user details so if i go here reload this page then as we can see that 100th number record is not coming and also if i let's say delete that or instead of this 10th number if i put it 7 so remember in our last query we actually got the details of our user 4 so if i reload this page now we have all the data something called 7 7 9 and the 8 it means we have no record of this 10th number because this user has no entry inside this table so this is all about guys joins inside our code igniter where this join method provides some of the parameters on the behalf of those parameters like left right inner this is the condition and this is the table name so by putting all these conditions actually we can achieve joins in code igniter so if you have any query inside this video session guys then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day